Hey guys, I posted a few pictures of this beauty um, and lots of people asked if I could do a tutorial on how I made them. I did follow Jessica Flynn's tutorial um, to make this one myself, but I did change a few things. So I am going to show you how I made mine today. The colors that we will be using is Foster, Aquamarine, and Beasley, all from Peachy Olive Glitters, Unicorn Dust Micas, Earth Fairy, and Winter Dream. I will be using a couple other Micas that I have from Amazon, um, but if you want a really good quality Mica, get them from Unicorn Dust Micas. Everything that she has is gorgeous. I just do not have every color. And I wish I did. And then, of course, a little extra epoxy for the shine that you cannot get with anything else. Okay. And I will be using some stones. These are glass fire stones from Amazon. I put these in the jar myself, but this is the stones that you see on this board. I actually got a multicolor pack. It was like 20 bucks for 10 pounds, and you get three colors. You get a copper, got this pretty green, This is actually how they come packaged, but this is a really pretty light gold color as well. Okay, so how I prep my board, um, I just wiped it down with a damp cloth. I didn't want to wipe it with um, or get a lot of water on it because I don't want that to affect um, my epoxy. Um, but I take electrical tape after I wipe the board down. I take electrical tape and go around the edges and just trim these curves with my Zacto knife. It's obviously like not pretty and it doesn't have to be. Um, we are just doing this so it does not come over the edge onto the back of the board. Now after, with a little extra epoxy, you can let this sit for four to six hours and then peel this off and it's not going to continue to uh, run over the edge because ALE sets up pretty quickly. Um, but with other epoxies, of course, it could vary. But I will um, talk more about that once we have the board done. I have four little cups here to suspend this up away from the table because we don't want it to stick. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on. So my voice may be a little muffled. I got a stack of cups here uh, to mix all of our colors up in. And I'm going to mix up my AOE. Now I am mixing up about 100 milliliters of this. I will have some leftover. Um, but it would take about 60 to 80 milliliters to complete this, depending on the size of your board. Okay. Now, once we have this mixed up, we are going to work pretty quickly um, because I do not want the epoxy to start thickening on me um, while I am pouring this on there. But the good thing is, is there's no perfect way to put it on there. You just kind of go with it. And it always just turns out so pretty. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and pull out some stones and put them here. 
so I'm not so I'm not digging into my jar. We got our three glitters. We're gonna have white, green, and then a hint of gold mica. And we're gonna need some clear as well. So I would just leave the remaining uh, clear in here. You need very, very little white mica. So I'll put the least in that cup. So we'll just pour a teeny tiny bit for the white mica here. Tiny bit there. Little for the green okay And I've left about 25, there's about 25 milliliters of epoxy left in here. That way we can cover our stones in the end. That way they are sealed and they don't have any sharp edges. Because like I said, these are, these are real glass. So they do have pretty sharp edges and we're going to want to seal those. your glitter and start mixing. You just dump it in here and get it a pretty good thick consistency. That way the board is not going to show through. You use a lot of stir sticks for this so I usually just cut my popsicle sticks in half. Now you don't have to use three colors. I have saw, I've saw some done with just one glitter and the remaining bits micas. So it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be three glitters. I just like, I like having the main glitter that the Firestone goes on, um, just a glitter to match that. A mica, and a mica to match one of them as well. And then the white is an accent. And then this is just a cut chunky that goes along with it that I can accent and weave in to kind of break things up a little bit. So 
Okay, it's a teeny tiny bit of mica, white mica. Like I said, the quality that you get from unicorn dust micas is, is like is unbeatable. Look at that. So definitely get from her instead of Amazon. I didn't even pull any out for my gold. I'm gonna put a little bit in here for my gold accent. Use very, very little for that. All right. I'm going to change my gloves so I don't get epoxy on those stones. Because once glitter starts sticking to your hands, it sticks to the stones and it's a mess. All right, so we're just gonna start with our Foster here. Start here at the top, and we're basically just going to paint it on. This is a light coat because when we add our stones on, it's going to spread it out and that will pull it over the side. And I like to save what I can to pour on in the end. and spots that it's needed. And I will just kind of go back and forth Okay. A little bit of that. Now we will add this on. Like I said, guys, there's no special way to put this on. You just put it there.
try not to run my colors into each other too much. So they can naturally just move on their own. I'm going to add a little bit more of this over here. And then we go in through our micas. Now, I usually take the mica through the light color, which would be bees leaf. Um, so I'm just gonna run it along where Beasley is. All right, now before we do our white, I wanna take the clear and make our edge here. Okay. And then I'm also gonna take this and I'm gonna run it along the edge. This will allow the epoxy to pull over the edge. When I start putting the stones on. just takes a white coat
And I know there's still gaps throughout there, but that will, that will go away once we start putting those stones in. And heat it up a little bit, because we want this to move just a little. So we're just going to pick the stones at random and just drop them on here. And that color that's just alike. And tap them down just a little bit so they're not so they're not going to go anywhere when you do apply some heat to it. There's no strategic way of placing this. I just really, just whatever I pick up, I put on here. And for small spaces like this, I just pick up the small stones and tap them in. Uh, some people asked what my selling price point was on these. I live in a in the country, so I think I could easily sell this for sixty bucks if I was in a big city. Um, but I sell them for forty five. I haven't made a ton of them, but those that I have made have sold right away. So I'm feeling like that's a pretty good price point. Whenever I price things, I try to think of what, of course, I'm the one that made it. So I know the time that goes into making, you know, the tumblers and all the epoxy crafts where 
most of the people that buy them from us don't. So I try to take in account for that. Glitter on that one. As well as how much time that I spent on it, how much materials costed. Which I actually got these. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's in their Spring Shop collection. And it's regular $14.99, but of course they always have them for 40% off. So I think that's a pretty good price. But yeah, my price point is 45 bucks for this. All right, now after I have those on, I can see where I need a little bit more of this just to give it a little more accent. You don't necessarily have to add the beads in, but I'm going to break it up just a bit in a couple of places or add the stones. having to <laughs> dab it on because my, my epoxy is starting to set up on me a little bit. Add a couple in here. I love these stones. I could do the whole board in them. So I better stop. Okay, ideally we would use a heat gun for this because it, it allows it to move a lot easier and does not apply so much heat at one time. But for the purpose of this video and my heat gun not reaching over here, I'm just gonna use my torch. So I'm gonna heat the whole thing up and then just kind of tilt it and move it around. So if you don't have a heat gun, this will work if you have a heat gun. Definitely use this, that over this. And I'm gonna focus on the micas to get them to break up and spread out just a bit. I'm liking, I'm liking the looks of that. Okay. All right. So as far as this gold, I'm going to do very, very, very thin streaks of it. And I'm only going to do maybe two, three here. This way. 
I think it looks really pretty with with these colors. Come through here. All right, and the very last step is to cover all of those stones with some clear epoxy. You wanna take it and just drizzle it over. Almost like you're drizzling some syrup on some pancakes. Make sure you get them all covered. They do have sharp edges and this takes it away. And it also just gives them a gorgeous shine. Most of this has ran down this side. I'm going to take my finger and just go underneath it all along the edge to get any excess that I can. Before walking away.
pretty. That is that. All right, so I will let this, um, if I did this during the day, I would let it sit for four hours and then flip it over and remove the tape. Once, let's see, once you remove the tape from the back, you can use 400 grit sandpaper and gently sand away from or around the edges just to get that sharp edge off or any rough texture. And then go back over it with 600 grit. That gives it that really smooth finish. And then you can take some wool, go over the board, and it gives it a brand new look. That new finish. And then, of course, it is ready to find a new home. So I hope that helped. Um, if anybody has any questions, just drop them in the comments and I will get to them as soon as possible. Again, the materials I used is a little extra epoxy, unicorn dust micas, and peachy olive glitters, Beasley aquamarine and Foster. And the glass Firestone from Amazon.